And welcome back to Qtown. We've done our updates, and at this point in time, the package includes already this ratio tile. So that means that if you have one, two, three, four is gonna look like this, five is gonna be look like this, and we can navigate between all of these possibilities, matrix, BSP, floating, and this is ratio tile. So another terminal will, provide, uh, will uh, divide it like this, and if you take nine, it will look like this. So that's ratio tile, another displaying uh, layout, let's say. And I was wondering the following. I was looking at this website and it says here that we have lots of possibilities for widgets. And yes, we already have a lot of widgets. But what if we like this CPU graph, there is a net graph and there is also something about net. So this plays interface down and up speed would be nice if we are torrenting, right? So supported bar orientation is horizontal only, fine, I am horizontal. And I was wondering, can I make it? Can I add a widget to the system providing this, this uh, information? So the point is that I want you to send off into the world and this is your world if you want to learn about util.org here. This has everything you need to know, build in uh, widgets, the hooks, the layouts, that's one exercise we've done. So we've added this uh, this layout in here. And what are these widgets? Okay, fine. Let's do it together. So the first time ever I'm gonna make a widget, but because you know, Nick and, and Crive and Xeon CPU and uh, ZVER are all people that have been contributing to this thing, to this Qtile config. And all together we have this config with the help of others. So this is gonna be my really first widget ever. So what do we do? We go to get cape, wear cape, fly. That's Arch Linux all over. Empowering the users. So we go to the Q tile, config pi. This is the wrong thing. I need to set it again. That happens when you scale it. So I'm gonna set it like so, open. And then we go to, by the way, um, maybe I should say that I uh, can repeat it in videos. Super control and my arrows could, well, not this one, let's uh, neither this one. So the ratio tile does not have that at this point in time. But if you are on Monatol and you do super shift, you can actually switch sides. So if you want to have it on the other side and super control to the left and right is making it easier for you to read. So let's get stick to this Monatol thing for the so a layout, different layout that I'm using now. And let's figure out where the widgets are. So widgets, widgets, widgets. We have here this icon for the font awesome nonsense no no so first we need to figure out where does this thing start so the group box is this thing then with the separator so that's that thing then the current layout that's that separator is that then we have the window name then we have the text box behind it and the cpu graph so here we have that's the text box that's the cpu graph so I, my guess is it may be better to put it in front of this thing. Um, but then, we always start with the copy paste. That's easiest, right? That's easiest. Let's first start with a separator. That's, if we break the system already, we can fix it. <laughs> so window name, that's there text box is that so I, if I do it here and tell to the system to shift tap it this is me pressing shift and tap save super shift R so I have this thing here so I'm gonna put it everything before here so in between those lines my code comes now I need to figure out what's the best copy paste for me to do since um, my guess is this is not that bad. 
Control C. Don't like the type a lot. That's just it. Nothing more. So here's the space. Probably best put it here. Control V. Now the widget isn't called text box. The widget is called net. Okay. So I say let's call it net then. Save it. Probably gonna break it when I type this fonts and all that. Maybe fonts not. But not those sons. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay. Don't do this. And save. What do we get? We get nothing. So widget.net. Let's have a look. So dot net background non font sans font shadow font size foreground interface. Oops, oops. It needs to know an interface markup etc. An update and file. All right. So let's give him something to actually monitor. Interface. I suppose equals. And I'm gonna check out my interface. My interface is this thing. And this, oh my God, this is gonna be different from for everybody. So Control Shift C is gonna be different for everybody. V, comma. Now I'm just hoping this is it, but you know, if you break the thing, this has a, a quotes not sure if it needs quotes or not because font has also quotes let's have a look fonts has quotes quotes like that so logic says you need quotes here as well common sense is needed super shift reload and we do have something up there so we have a success story now not a sans would be not a bad idea to have a font similar to the others uh, text I don't need this really so I'm gonna use that guy and put that here save and reload now this thing has, is broken I probably forgot something so let's see what did I forget interface font size 12 not all sans Doesn't really matter if I put it here or there. Should not matter at all. But let's be consistent if we are writing stuff. So what did change? Not seeing it at the moment. So I saved it. Super Control R. Crashed again. So I'm gonna go Control Z on this thing. I'll figure it out. This was correct. So never mind these letters, you know, when an error occurs, then you get these strange things. So that's okay. Um, what did we change that could have brought upon a crash? Save, reload, no crash. And we changed the font size. Why can't I change the font size? Ah, because it's double. That's the only reason. Guy, why should you have a problem with that? Set it twice. Alright, fine. Don't set it twice then. Oops, still wrong. But this time it's just a comma. So Control S, Super, Control, Reload. So oh, that's a better font. Let's see what font size the others are. And let's let's put that as well in there. So this is the clock, the clock, the clock, the clock is memory. The clock has no font size at all. So the font size up here in the general area is 12. So I don't know, but I think I use 12 just per accident. 
yeah 12. so that's actually no path it's a color it has a foreground color of three and three is this orange kind of thing which i don't like now the foreground colors are normally two two five so let's give it a, a two probably so memory cpu net here it is let's give it number two as a color and reload and that's much better so the up and the downs so let's give it a try Control O G. go to Arco Linux download download and get this thing going one more so torrent we are torrenting this thing download the torrent file open the torrent file and we'll see figures moving along and it's a good test so 22 seats great speed super speed really um, super f so we have down speed which is great that's what i'm paying for around 40 megabytes per second 44 is actually or 45 is actually the maximum i think i've paid for it so that's good so in less than one minute i have a two gigabyte iso in that's fun super f is out so this thing is working this thing is figure saying it the same thing so this is the download the first one is a download and the second one is the upload so now we know download and upload the arrows should have told me that <laughs> and it's done and we can start seeding or just delete it and keep the file as is now if you quit um, this torrent you do super q but it's still there it's in here so just uh, exit here as well so that was our little test the widget is a success we can actually add it to the system but remind you of uh, remember that you need to sorry type ifconfig and change this little name of the interface because it's, it's a very specific name and it's uh, need to be changed all right so this is how you would make more widgets uh, i've learned something here as well so there's actually no need for the comma to be here but it doesn't hurt to be there either because he it works with or without the comma as you see but two probably two commas let's break the system again yeah three two commas is too much a comma too much so super control r and we're back and we have our little counter here if you like it all right have fun